I like the idea of using a bike as a tool for landscape photography because it allows you to hit the bike trails, discover new sections of the park, plus it's really really fun and a quick way to get around. Now this trail was mostly foresty and at the end of it it led to another bay. This park has a lot of bays to discover and the bay I got to was really nice but upon a quick glance I kind of felt like it wouldn't be a great sunset location so I decided to bike back the 4 kilometers. I just had a hunch that it would be better back near my campsite. So I had about an hour to make sunset and I had about 4 kilometers to make which was totally fine. So I was biking like a madman trying to make my location and then 2 kilometers in this happens. So instead I ended up walking back in a hurry, left my bike back at the campsite and then walked towards the bay of Haha. Ha. I know it's kind of funny, almost ideal, like as if the bay was kind of making fun of me. He was laughing at me for having my tire get flat. But once I got there, I got set up and I was right about my hunch because this sunset was just kicking off. It was like the best sunset I've ever experienced in my life. Happy I made it. Awesome. Oh man, what what a sunset. I'm so glad I came here to take pictures. And honestly, if I don't get a single picture here, either tomorrow sunrise or at sunset if this is the only picture I get it's going down in my memory as one of my favorite sunsets it's, it's been a while since I've seen a sunset like this and I happen to catch it and be taking pictures of it despite the fact that I had to rush to get here it was totally worth it sometimes working under pressure can uh, yield results don't you think uh, Look at that. Just look at that. Look at this moment right now. Oh yeah. I don't know if you could see that. Oh, just look at the sunset. Oh my god. Just look at the sunset. I'm having what photo tripper would say is a photo orgasm. It's that nice. And really, some stuff like that leave me at a loss for words. I have nothing else to say here. Just. I think I have one picture in there, it's going to be absolutely amazing and I'm going to finish this video right here but what a, what a sunset really, I'm so happy. So this sunset was the best part of my 10 day trip and having it happen on the last part of my trip was just amazing. I mean, as soon as I was done taking pictures that day, despite everything that happened, I was so happy, I was so content. All I could think of was that sunset and how amazing it was. But the thing is, it was kind of a letdown for the remainder days. Well, it's currently about 5 a.m. in the morning. Very quiet, very peaceful, but the weather's kind of overcast, so I, I thought there's going to be a sunrise. I think I'll just hop back in my tent. Oh yeah, back in bed. Because it felt like 
if I were to go out take pictures the following day at sunrise or sunset it would have to be a thousand times better than where I already had the first day here so I decided to spend my last day camping enjoying the classic camping experience making a fire having some beer just relaxing and end this trip on a high note because that sunset was a high note of the trip I mean it was all fun but that sunset made it all just mm. it's like the cherry on the sunday yep i was right compared to yesterday the sunset's not the same thank you guys for watching and by the time you watch this video i'm away on another camping trip much bigger than this one so there's gonna be more videos to come so make sure you stay tuned for those thank you guys for coming along and until next time